Hello, my name is Lea Wakanyi. Welcome to this uh, short video uh, on how to guide you to uh, access your e-learning portal. Uh, the first thing you do, you go to the Machakos University website. Then under the first, the tab for e-resources, the first link is e-learning LMS. Uh, your username is your student number, your student number in lowercase and it is also the password in uppercase. I'm going to use a student that I have created for this training. So your student number in lowercase is the username and it is also the password but in uppercase. So for this student, this is the password and then you log in. So use your student number as the username and also as the password. It is the username in lowercase and it is the password in uppercase. So the first thing that you do when you get here is to synchronize your, your registered unit. So the first thing that you should have done is to pay fees once you join the university. Pay fees, then register for units. Then when once the units are approved, in the portal, in the portal where you registered them, not, not the e-learning portal, when you get to the e-learning portal, you don't need to register for units again because you already registered them in your other portal. So the only action that you're supposed to do here is to sync my registered units. Sync my registered units. And um, this button here, it hides. It hides what is on the right and it can also unhide. So always make sure that by default, this sign here looks like a greater than sign so that you are able to see whatever is on the right side. So this is how you get your units from the portal. You sync my registered units and once they have been synced, if you have paid fees and you have registered for units, the units will be synced uh, successfully and you will get a, a successful message. So once you get that message, you will notice that this icon here will be added my courses it looks like a graduation cap it will be added uh, then now it means that you can access the units that you have registered as a new student the safest place to always be is on the dashboard don't go to the site home just be on the dashboard or when you want to access your units make sure that you do it from my courses all the right side if you check the right side you will see when you scroll down you will see the units that you have registered for so for this student because this is a dummy student used for for training uh, they are only registered in one unit which is here so you can access your unit from here all here so that is how you access your your units you sync you log in then you sync my registered units you go back to the dashboard you will see that the my courses icon will have been added so that is how you access your content in case you want to change your password or you want to have a profile name there is this button here the user icon just uh, beside it there is another icon uh, a small arrow you can use it now to go to your profile and then you can uh, change your password and change your profile, uh, which is okay. So that one you can do once you have familiarized yourself with the uh, with the platform. So now, now that you have uh, synced your units and now they are visible, to access them, you only need to click on them. You only need to click on a unit. And uh, uh, here where we have the course overview, always make sure that um, the course overview reads all except removed from view. Make sure that you leave this as it is by default. Unless when you are registering units for another semester, you want to remove some units from view because you realize that when you register, you come for your second or third, uh, your, your second year or third year, all the units that you have registered, they will be visible in this platform. So when you want to remove them from view, you click on this three dots here you click here then you remove from view so that is the only time that you're expected to remove a course from view so uh, now that we are registered in this unit let's see the uh, various activities that are there 
so you click on the unit as i said you can do it from the right side or you can go to my courses and find it there so basically this is how a class will look like you will have the announcement section where you have the phone number of your hr uh and uh, their email then you will see a course outline for the course outline you only need to click on it and download it and uh, the introductory video the same so all these uh, resources that are found here you click on them and then you will be able to access whatever is there even for the discussion forums and the chat rooms uh, this is a discussion forum this is a chat room so you only need to click on them and participate for anything that looks like this it tells you that this is a link so this is a video uh, and this is also a video once you click on it it will take you to youtube where you can watch it i want us now to look at how we submit uh, so you do the same for all these others uh, but now let us look at how we submit assignments so we go to the to the 10th week where we have an assignment that needs to be uploaded so an assignment will look like this this uh, blue icon here so you click on it like that then you download it from here uh, then you attempt it in your own time then you get back uh, uh, later on you come back to the class and you you now want to submit the assignment so you had downloaded the assignment you have done it so now you want to uh, to do the assignment i mean to upload the assignment so you will go to the week where the assignment was that was in week 10 then you click on the assignment uh, from there now we want to add an assignment you add submission you add submission then you click on this icon here so that you can get the file uh, the assignment from your device where you had uh, saved that the the assignment after attempting it so you upload the file then you select a file the same way we select files when we are doing emails then from there you go to the location where the file was saved assuming that i had saved mine uh, on the desktop i click there uh, so it has been added you don't need to fill the others because by default the system will uh, have your name there and your uh, admission number then you upload the file so once you upload the file the assignment is still a draft but you save the changes save the changes so once you save the changes at this point you can either edit uh, the submission or remove the submission but once you're sure that you have submitted the right thing you click on it and you check the submission um, statement then you continue to confirm that this is your own work and you have submitted your own work so you can see the color has changed here and your assignment has been submitted for grading so those are the few steps for uh, to help you uh, submit an assignment so you could also have a, a big blue button class uh, that is a virtual class that you're supposed to join uh, we go to week 10 where it was there is a class called the training class here so to access a big blue button class it looks like a b it has the icon of a b so you click on it like that then you join session so for this one you don't need a password uh, or a username you just log into your class and then you can join the class so this is how the platform looks like yeah so you are already in the class this is the public chat uh, you're the only participant because this is a training class this is the uh, public chat where now you can give your views and all that uh, you use a microphone but uh, make sure that once you join the class you are muted so that you don't distract the class so you mute here and then now you can participate in the class your lecturer will be uploading up their presentation here on this video so once you're done you click uh, on the right side and then you leave the meeting and then now you can go back to your you can go back to your class
can go back to your class like that and join the other activities and as i said always be on the dashboard so that is how you access the e-learning uh, classes how you synchronize your units how you submit your assignments and how you join uh, a big blue button class. Thank you very much. I'm Leah Wakanyi, Systems Admin, Odell Machakos University. Thank you for your time.